Summary of the Little Match Girl by Hans Christian Andersen On New Year's Eve, when it's cold and snowy, a little girl goes around the city trying, but failing, to sell matches. She has no shoes on and is freezing because she is too young to handle the risks of this tough urban environment on her own. Already, some careless carriage drivers and a young boy stole one of her slippers. The girl is cold, hungry, and alone as she walks around the streets. She hasn't sold a single match or gotten any help. As the snow falls on her uncovered head, she thoughtfully notices the pretty lights and smells of love and celebration coming from the town's windows. She also thinks about how she doesn't have such comforts in her own home because she and her family live in a drafty attic and her father is probably abusive. The girl chooses to hide in a small nook because she is afraid that her abusive family will treat her worse if she goes home and didn't sell any matches. She burns a match to stay warm as it gets colder. She is surprised when the light makes her think of a big, hot stove that goes away as soon as the match goes out. Inspired by this pleasant vision, the girl burns more matches and sees more things. First, she sees a big holiday meal with beautiful table settings, and then she sees a beautifully lit Christmas tree with beautiful decorations. The girl then sees a shooting star, which makes her think of her kind grandma, who was the only person who had ever been nice to her. She burns the rest of her matches so she can keep seeing her grandma and begs to go to heaven with her. The grandma gives her wish and takes her up to God, where she will no longer have to deal with the shame of being poor. The next day, the girl's body is found. She was smiling and her face was red, and there were spent matches all around her. People in the town don't seem to know about the big dreams she had and the peace she has now that she is dead. About the author Hans Christian Andersen was born on April 2, 1805, in Odensee, Denmark. He was mostly wrote short stories and fairy tales for children. As the only child of working-class parents, Andersen was aware of the unfairness of the class system from a young age. He took on a number of jobs to pay for his schooling and support himself. At first, Andersen wanted to be an actress, but he soon became more interested in writing. At the urging of theater director and patron Jonas Collin, he began to write a series of works that would be remembered for ages. Many of his stories, like The Emperor's New Clothes and The Ugly Duckling, have become so famous that it's easy to forget that they were written by someone else in the first place. In his later years, Anderson's stories were turned into other languages and became famous around the world. Eventually, the Danish government gave him a stipend that helped him make a decent living as an author. He was able to travel because he no longer had to worry about money. He wrote several books about his adventures in different countries and places. He became friends with the British author Charles Dickens because they both cared about the poor and middle-class people. Anderson died in Copenhagen in 1875. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.